Fox. So, today we have the second last of our little teeling series. Um, so, it comes to an end and we have a German exclusive bottling this time. It's the Pinot Noir. That does it look like. And I need to show you something. I have a glass. It arrived today. <laughs> with my own logo. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I really like that one. And you can see the color of the whiskey as well. Alrighty. So this one, it's um, based on the Teeling blend, which consists of 80% grain and 20% single malt. It was um, stored in Expert Fe uh, Fesser. <laughs> So yeah, got to switch to German. <laughs> so it was stored in ex um for around like six years. After that, it was finished in Pinot Noir wine cask for 12 months. And here's the special fact. The barrels came from a German uh, winery, which is called, uh, which is called Reichsrat von Buhl in the Pfalz uh, region. It's quite common and famous in Germany. So it's really, really cool. And we've got a limited bottling of 3,500 bottles. It's non-colored, it's non-filtered, and we got typical for teeling 46 ABV. So we'll see uh, if you will recognize the pretty high grain um, part of it. So let's see what the nose says. Oh, it's very fruity. You you directly have like food in your nose, like. Um, uh, dark cherries or like the pickled raisins. No, I like it very much. But after that, you also find um, hints of tannins, and you've got a kind of a earthy note. And you also in the background find something which reminds me of hibiscus. Mm. So it smells good. We'll see how it tastes. Lunch, guys. Mm. Again, very smooth, very gentle. You have the fruits again, but this time it's more like dark currants, strawberries and raspberries, but also the, the dark cherries again. Mm. Really like that one. But you also have like the earthy notes again and the tannins and wood. So it's a really nice, uh, nice interplay between all these. Mm, I really like that one. Mm, the finish is quite medium and it's more spicy this time. I mean, you also have the fruity note, but this time it, stepped, uh, it steps into the background and you have more the earthy notes and the spicy notes and the um, tannins, which I really like. So we got a really nice interaction between fruitiness and earthiness and spiciness. So for me, it's a really round whiskey which is also, I think, very suitable for beginners because it's, it's not like, oh, it's very complex or it has edges or something like that. It's really a very smooth and gentle whiskey. I really like that one. So if you like Pinot Noir as well and whiskey in combination, <laughs> you can go with that one. I'm not sure if you get this in foreign states uh, because it's a German exclusive bottling. Not sure of that. Um, I paid around 38 euros. So for me, a great value for money whiskey again. And I'm happy that you don't taste the pretty high part of grain whiskey in it because I don't like grain whiskey that much. And so, yeah, it's a really round, smooth one. And yeah, like always, I want to know, do you know that one? I'm not sure of that. Um, just leave me a comment if you get this in your country or not. I would be really interested in that. And I just can say last week is our um, last kind of core range teeling series bottling. <laughs> I'm really excited what you say to this one. And yeah, I just can say have a great Friday, have a great weekend and we see us next week. Bye bye.